Texas bring in Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis. Chief Davis, thank you for joining us this morning. So the officers were charged yesterday. Why is the video being released tonight? Are you worried that it's coming out on a Friday night? Well, um, there was much discussion about when uh, an appropriate time for the video to be released, George, and not just the Memphis Police Department, but with city administration and other agencies in the area. We felt that Friday would be better. Uh, we're, we're taking into consideration the reaction of the community uh, that could potentially take place, and ensuring that our schools, you know, are out. Um, most business folks would be on the way home on tomorrow. Did you give any consideration at all to or not? Or this evening, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Did you give any consideration at all to not yeah. releasing the video, given the concerns? Um, no, not at all. You know, as we continue to talk about transparency, and even though this is a very, very difficult video to watch, um, it was never a thought that we would not release this video. Uh, we wanted to make sure that it wasn't released too prematurely because we wanted to ensure that the DA's office, the TBI, and also uh, the FBI had an opportunity to cross some of the um, some of the hurdles that they had to in their investigation. And we're sort of at a point now that the DA has made his statements in reference to charges of these officers that this is a safe time for us to release the video. You say it's difficult to watch. What was your reaction when you first saw the video? Uh, in my 36 years, um, George, I, I would have to say I don't think I've ever been more horrified and, um, and disgusted, uh, um, sad, uh, but just, you know, uh, and, and to some degree confused. Confused? Yes. Why? Um, you know, when I say, yeah, when I say confused, um, just in the level of uh, aggression and response to what what had occurred in this traffic stop and it's still very unclear you know as to uh, the the real reason for the stop in the first place i guess part of your confusion must be rooted in the fact that your department did enact new policies in the wake of george floyd's murders what went wrong here well, I think that there were there were several gaps um, that took place, and I'm just going to to be honest. Anytime we have officers that are working in various types of units, and our police department, along with departments around the country, have specialized units, it's just important to make sure that there are supervisors that are where they're supposed to be during these um, types of uh, operations. And um, you know, individuals that that are the right people that are in place that will act appropriately um, when when these types of uh, incidents occur. Uh, I believe there was um, a, a sense of groupthink um, in, in in the mentality of of what was happening, and um, it's just uh, very unfortunate that nobody stepped forward to say enough. You think it's possible that the initial stopping of the car was improper? As as far as I know today, um, I do believe that um, the the stop itself was very questionable. Uh, we have been a, unable to uh, verify uh, the reckless driving uh, allegation. Uh, there have been uh, many searches of video footage, you know, along the corridors of the streets that this stop supposedly um, occurred or that the witnessing of reckless driving occurred. And we haven't been able to substantiate in any type of vi uh, video that um, there was a reckless driving um, type of action that prompted this stop. Did any of the police officers involved have prior criminal records? Uh, no. You're certain of that? Uh, as far as I know, they, they did not. These officers were hired um, uh, from three, I guess three to six years is what their tenure was. But um, I'm not certain that there were any uh, criminal charges on them. But uh, I don't, I don't want to say for sure. Uh, but as far as I know, they didn't. How's your department going to rebuild trust with the community in the wake of this? This is this is going to be this is going to be very difficult, you know, uh, for the police department. You know, I've always been a supporter of police reform and the tenets of 21st century policing, 
And uh, as we continue to uh, try to build trust with our community, this is a very, very uh, heavy cross to bear, not just for our department, but for departments around the country. Building trust is a day-by-day -day, uh, interaction between every traffic stop, every encounter with the community. We all have to be responsible for that now, and it's going to be difficult in the days to come. Chief Davis, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you.